Hello YouTube, this is Nam man. Welcome to my channel, Drawman. Jack of all, master of none. <laughs> I got a couple more boxes to unbox. I think it's gonna be comic books. <laughs> you know, I told myself, I'll, I'm gonna beat these formal by getting the comic books I want instead of comic books that are hyped up. But I think, uh, it's uh, turning on me. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll see if... Uh, this should be last of... Last of few. Oh, this packaging is not good. What good is it if it's not in the middle? It's not on the top like this. <laughs> These bubbles it don't even protect it. <laughs> All right. This envelope is not a good protection either. I guess it's spongy. Hmm. Do this. Get the top. Oh boy, I almost cut into the comic book. <laughs> Actually, that's in good shape. Okay, I'm not going to do that again. That was pretty scary when I almost cut into the comic book. That was pretty scary. I didn't cut into it, right? <laughs> wow, that's a really in good shape. I heckle on this one. <laughs> but uh, still, I feel like I paid quite a bit for a comic book. My friend had this comic book. And I've been envying this comic book since I was a little kid. I said, God, I want that one, man. Mm. Wow, 30 cents comic book. That was a while ago. This is what the comic book community calls a Gemini box. Very popular box among the comic book community. This is how one should ship a comic book, one comic, or maybe even two comic books. In these Gemini boxes. Pretty cool name too, Gemini box. Really easy for me to remember. It folds out, folds out like this. And then there's my comic book. Let me see if we'll... Well, I spent quite a bit of money. I'm, I'm glad they spent good money on the packaging. Uh, I'm always hoping a little better grade than this. There's a lot of cleaning and the inside doesn't look that good from my view. Now, this has made my uh, Red Sanja collection complete. I, I, I don't intend to collect all the Red Sanja's <laughs> stories out there. Uh, I just wanted all the number ones from my collection time era back in the 80s, 70s and 80s. So, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, right, on, yeah. right there. There's some cleaning to do. Looks like uh, this guy probably picked this from Dollar Bin, made tons of money on eBay. <laughs> Minus shipping and handling and and eBay percentages. He may have made a twenty dollars still. That's all right. I wanted it. Uh, let me look at the condition of this thing. 
tape, tape. Don't mess with tape. So this tape will not cling onto my. Yeah, it looks pretty dirty. Inside looks just a little rounding edge. Some kicks on the about six, seven ticks on the side. Rounding edge at the, this corner. That's alright. Oh, that looks clean. Somewhat. I mean, no sharp edges and everything. Those ticks are from the front. I don't know. Do you count the ticks in the back and forth? <laughs> So who's the artist in this? Ooh. Marvel Feature presents um, Robert E. How is the creator of Restanya? Uh, Roy Thomas, writer, editor, Dick Giordano, Coldano, Coldano. Artist is a uh, Giordano. Stanley is presents and Michael Wolfman is colorist Kathy and Thomas is letter uh, who did the art in the cover I guess the same guy I'm gonna have a try and see if I could clean that the white out learning how to clean comic books so far, I, I, I can tell from, I think there's a better way than what I'm doing right now. But I also don't want to damage. I want to make sure that what, whatever I'm doing doesn't damage. Uh, it may look like I haven't damaged it yet, but you never know. What is the long lasting effect of a certain eraser, certain chemical on the book? You never know. Alright. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Let me know.